your own understanding. Truth under Babylon's imperialism. What up? Let's get it in and get real. Let's talk about uh, what we actually have going on in the community, gender-wise, male and female. Why there is so much confusion and calamity um, in regards to relationships, uh, social status. And just uh, basic uh, getting along, basic human re relations in the community. Why is everything so topsy turvy? Well, um, I'll give you an idea why everything is so topsy turvy. Number one, the indigenous community has no foundation. That's redundant. Um, it's it's ridiculous to think any other way regarding a a people. If they have no foundation, then obviously everything else is going to be topsy-turvy. Now, we'll take it a step further and say the structure of society, we'll say in the community, is wrong and ass backwards. We, we do not consider energetic flow when it comes to how we structure family, uh, societies you know countries just we have no stru there's no structure there's no proper structure when it comes to um gender and the energy that they each hold individually so i said that to say uh human rights and gender rights go hand in hand so when you have a We'll take classism right now. So you have a certain class of people oppressing another class of people. So you break it down into uh, male and female, uh, gender contrast in one particular society, one particular ethnic group. Um, we'll take uh, the indigenous ethnic group. And you have to understand the structure itself is what is in question the structure of our society. Now, when you have male and female, you have human rights. You have gender rights. I said they go hand in hand. So, a female is just as capable as a male. Keep that in mind. A female is just as capable as a male. So, with all the things that come along with uh, being a female, a male has uh, no right to intervene. The role of male and females are confused within the community. Uh, meaning the male, the job of a male is to go out and hunt and whatever, do whatever and bring food back while the woman stays home and da 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 da. That's asinine and bullshit. That's, that's not the correct way to harness energy or to complete a, a satisfying, positive, energetic unit. You can't do it like that. You cannot mix androgen and estrogen and expect things to flow in a linear way where there's no bumps and bruises or e emotional conflict. That's impossible. So, the structure of society should be men and women separate. Not away from each other, but separate. Living separate and, and dealing with their feelings and emotions separately as a, a unit of gender. So, that way, you don't have to classify everyone, male and female, in certain categories when the energy is totally different. That is our problem, for one. So, when you have living arrangements where you, you couple the male and the female together and make it seem like they're supposed to be together, um, the disturbance that, that will definitely ensue is inevitable. Because you have two separate energies trying to grab onto the same line, which doesn't work. I mean, any battery will teach you that. There's always a positive and a negative post, and they're separate. And they run together concurrently for, you know, the proper, you know, usage of that particular unit. And that's how we are supposed to structure ourselves. Males on one side, females on the other. The role of the male is to protect and guide the female give her guidance give her security uh, give her the the comfort in knowing that their species 
is protected and well adjusted to the environment. The role of the female is to support the male, to learn from the male, and perhaps teach the male certain things that he may not pick up energetically because of the difference between androgen and estrogen, positive and negative, and such. They are to learn from each other and grow together, separate in position for them to be who they are and come together as needed. That way, there is no conflict of interest because a female is a female. You cannot categorize a female and her sexuality the same way you do a man and his sexuality. You cannot do that. That is fuck nut stupid, and I'll say it just like that. All that happens when you do that is you create confusion within a structure, or well, a supposed structure, and you get what you have today here in 2020, before and beyond if we keep this going. So I'll leave it at that. Um, keep in mind the war is ever raging, and at this point of the psychological aspect of it we need to educate ourselves on reality that way we can bring to the forefront when it comes down to it because it will come down to the the obvious and the understanding of the position of the realities of these different races and what they are tied to and where they come from and once we get that on the forefront on a world stage for conference and for judgment, there will be no other hidden agendas or any other, you know, um, evasive thoughts or ideas to kind of, you know, sway or maneuver around the elephant in the, in, in the fucking room, okay? And, and after that, after we get to that, where there's no question about genetics and the role of biology and biochemistry here on Earth. And then I, I leave you with that. It's up to us because they are ever flowing in their agenda. So we definitely need to have at least an idea of where we need to go and how to get there.